Hey everyone, my name is Ka Ching Song. I am the community manager on the Fusion 360 team. You can see behind me, we're at BattleBots 2021 World Championships. There's about 65 teams here in Las Vegas competing for that number one title. And uh, yeah, we want to give you guys an inside look at some of the teams, what they're like, what inspired them to design the robots that they've designed. And uh, yeah, just an inside look. So come on in and uh, let's check it out. The sound of my voice. This is the sound. Hey, Team Kraken, uh, so good to see you guys. Let's let's have you guys introduce yourselves, okay. uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, hi, my name is Matthew Spurk. I'm the captain of Team Kraken. I'm Caden Spurk. I'm Ethan Spurk. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so good to meet you guys. So nice good to, to meet be, you. It's so good to be talking to you. So uh, tell us about Kraken. Tell us about how you guys decided with that name. What inspired you to, to come up with this name for your robot, or for your team, really? Yeah, so the history behind Kraken was uh, we actually had the name of the robot before we had the design. We want, we kind of were like, we were talking to the Witch Doctor team and they're like, if you want to get on the show, you need kind of this theme and a background and, and like a story, right? So we said, all right, we're going to go with the pirate theme and our robot's going to be called the Kraken. And we worked up a bunch of different designs and eventually decide, the, uh, decided on a pneumatic crusher. We're the only pneumatic crusher that's ever competed on BattleBots. Uh, and we're the most powerful crusher this year. We can produce over 100,000 pounds of force with our crusher. That's wild. Uh, why, why a pneumatic uh, weapon? So the problem with crushers has always been historically that they're really slow. So you've got them and they're kind of trying to slowly squeeze their opponent really hard and it just takes a long time. But with the pneumatics, we're able to shove the air in really fast. And the pneumatic crusher, we can actually close and get down on our opponent in less than a second. And then in about three seconds, we can build up the full pressure. So it's very, very fast for a crusher. That's so cool. I love seeing all the different types of weapons and like the ingenuity that goes to every robot. What what got you guys into robotics? What uh, yeah, why why did this all come uh, come about? So I saw BattleBots back on Comedy Central okay. uh, back in like the year 2000, right? So over 20 years ago, I saw it, um, and. Um, I fell in love with it. I was doodling in all my notebooks at school and just always dreamed about being on BattleBots and competing on this show. Um, and I've, we've done it every year since. These boys have been doing BattleBots since they were old enough to hold a transmitter, even a little bit smaller. They, we had to set them in a chair because the transmitters were too big for them to hold. So you guys are pretty well prepared when you when you guys came in. Yeah, so the, the, the really the, the beauty of Kraken is it's, it's not a very complicated machine. We're a real like garage family built machine, right? So uh, we get steel plates and we weld them up and we come out here and we hope for the best, you know? Uh, so our design's very simplified. Um, and so right now we're teaching these kids, we're getting ready to teach them CAD. We're looking at Fusion 360 as, as a very great tool. That's the future of CAD, right? The top down design is where the future of CAD is going. So we've got a chance to bring these kids into that 3D design world. Uh, these kids are already, they build their robots, right? So they're competing here at BattleBots. They built their little narwhal robots that they're driving around the arena with Kraken, and they do all that themselves, right? So they're wiring the robot, they're installing the motors, their you know, stuff doesn't fit just right or doesn't work just right, and they're having to fix it in real time. So they're getting kind of the hands-on uh, uh, how things go together and the, and the challenges of sometimes you can design something and, but you can't put it together. The two pieces just don't fit. And so having that hands-on coupled with the 3D CAD environment, uh, I think it's gonna give them a leg up whenever they become the future engineers, you know? Cool, I love hearing that you guys are gonna embrace that new technology. So uh, yeah, really rooting for you guys. Huh? Thank you so much for talking Thank to me. Yeah, it was great to meet you guys. And uh, yeah, en enjoy the rest of this, this week.